Welcome to our second chapter of Hiragana lesson. So for today's lesson, we are going to focus on ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. Okay? Last time, we focused on the direct translation of A, I, U, E, and O. And for now, on this Hiragana chart, we are going to focus on the line of K, which is the combination of K and the vowels. Ka, ki, ku, ke, and ko. First letter is ka. There are three strokes for this character. You can check on the video on the right side for the proper stroke order. So, for example, we have here kabang or bag and kasa, which means umbrella. Kabang means bag and kasa means umbrella. Wow. Next hiragana character will be ki for the stroke order. So, there are three strokes to complete this character. And you can check on the video on the right side for the proper stroke order. For examples, we have here key or tree and kirin, which means giraffe. Ki means tree, and Kirin means giraffe. Next Hiragana character will be Ku. Ku. It looks like we need two strokes for this character, but actually it is counted as one. So for the proper stroke order, we can check on the video on the right side. Okay, that was easy. For examples, we have here kumo, which means clouds. And kuko, which means airport. Kumo means clouds and kuko, which means airport. Next character will be ke. Ke. There are three strokes to complete this character. And for the correct stroke, we can check the video on your right. Okay, for examples, we have here, Keshigomu, which means eraser keshi gomu which means eraser and kega which means injury kega which means injury no! so we're done to the last character for the line k and that is hiragana ko ko so you only need two strokes to complete this character wasn't that easy but as you can see on the blue board, there's a variance between the two. So the one doesn't have check downwards, and the other one has. Actually, it only differs because of the font face I am using. But anyways, it is read as ko. And you can check on the video on the right side for the proper stroke order. Wasn't that easy? So, for examples, we have here ko, which already means kid, and koma, which means spinning top. Ko, which means kid, and koma, which means spinning top. Now we're done with the line K. Ka, ki, ku, ke, and ko. 
Thank you for watching guys. So please do not forget to subscribe on my channel for the next videos.